I'm Olivia Gonzalez Pritt covering your community in Arroyo Grande where police tell me they anticipate a higher volume of traffic and potential dangers on the road as people drive into the new year. New Year's Eve is a time for celebration and looking forward to a fresh start. But this festive occasion can take a tragic turn when people who are impaired choose to get behind the wheel. Whenever there is some kind of incident like that, it's, it happens so quickly that I don't really get a chance to to react. Statistics from the California Transportation Mapping Injury System show that of the total motor vehicle accidents reported in 2022, 12% were alcohol related. Sergeant Jason Castillo with Arroyo Grande PD finds these numbers unsurprising. It is very dangerous to uh, be under the influence while driving. Um, it's a danger for other people on the roadway and for yourself. And it's not just adults. Alcohol is also a factor in crashes among teens. Statistics from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration show that in 2021, more than 2,000 drivers between the ages of 15 and 20 lost their lives in crashes. 588 of those fatalities were related to alcohol. Speed and distracted driving were also top causes for teen crashes. But Sergeant Castillo emphasizes they can't just point fingers at the younger generations. Especially during this popular weekend celebration, everybody needs to be cautious. I think it's everybody just in general the, this time of year and just um, life in general. People are just more in a rush. So when you leave your home or if you're going to a destination, Make sure you give yourself enough time, a lot of time to get where you're going um, because uh, speed is also, also a factor in, in traffic collisions. For those who witness sloppy driving and assume a drunk driver behind the wheel, the California Highway Patrol advises having a passenger call 911 with details. If you're alone, pull over or use hands-free to call 911. And while Arroyo Grande won't have any DUI checkpoints this weekend, Slow PD tells me as part of a national campaign, they will have increased officers looking for drivers suspected of being under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. In Arroyo Grande, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, KSPY News.